Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about my weekly rotation fragrances. Some stunners on the list, as per usual. Stay tuned to find out about these fragrances. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. That is right, today I'm here to talk about seven fragrances that I wore last week. Some great ones on the list. Some reasonable price ones and a couple of niche fragrances. I like to sort of mix it up a little bit. Like I'm no fragrance snob. If it smells good, I'm going to wear it. I don't care if it costs £20 or £200. If the fragrance smells nice and I like it, you can guarantee that I'm going to be rocking it. Monday, it was a little bit muggy still from the weekend previous. I needed something that had a fresh quality to it. So I went with Club de Nuit, Intense Man, Other Parfum. This is the 200ml Big Daddy. Man, does this smell good. I don't care what anybody says. For the price that you can pick this fragrance up for, or even the EDT, it is worth the money. Let me just spray this bad boy and then we'll get into it. Not bad atomizer, it gets the job done. Right, you got lemon, bergamot, pineapple, apple, blackcurrant, birch, rose, jasmine, musk, vanilla, amber grease and patchouli. This opens up fresh, citric. A little bit fruity, a tad smoky from the birch. Once that opening calms down, like once the citrus calms down, I can pick up this ever so faint green herbal nuance in the back of the fragrance. And then when this is going on, that is when that pineapple and apple, I wouldn't say amps up, but because the citrus has calmed down, it seems like they're amping up because they become more present, but they're, they're just there. So that's what I'm trying to get at. They're sort of in the forefront. The citrus is sort of taking a back seat by now. And then it does have a woodsy undertone. Once it dries down more and more, it does have a musky edge to it. So the fragrance is citrusy, a little bit fruity. I would say semi-sweet, a little bit woody a touch smoky and a little bit musky and this smells great and the performance on this thing it's not beast mode on me but i do get really good longevity with it like i'm talking seven to eight hours even sometimes that i've worn this fragrance it has started leaning into the nine hour mark on close it is there and the next day it pushes good for a couple of hours I mean, I don't know what the 200ml bottle costs these days, but I think when I picked this up, I think I paid about £55 or £60 for it. And for that money, for 200ml of this juice, it is worth it. I know people say it smells like Creed Avengers. I'm not going to get into that one. This is my weekly rotation review. And Monday, I rocked this bad boy. Club de Nuit, Intense Man, Other Parfum. Solid, solid fragrance and masculine. Tuesday, the weather was a little bit cooler, like there was no sunshine out, it was a little bit doom and gloom, so I wanted to wear something with a little bit of sweetness to it, and a little bit of heft, and I went with Tonka Cola from the house of Mancera. Great, great fragrance in my opinion. I love these caps, look. If you like magnetic caps, you would appreciate this, look. Just listen to that. And the atomizers on these bottles are fantastic. Some of the best in the game, if you ask me. Look, pressurised, you can control the sprays. Right, you've got lemon, nutmeg, cinnamon sticks, black cherry, fizzy cola, Indonesian patchouli, orange flowers, tonka beans, benzoin, labdanum and vanilla. This opens lemony, cherry cola-ish. Fizzy, 
ever so slightly spicy, like that cinnamon and nutmeg, add this soft, spicy nuance to the fragrance. Once this starts drying down or you get into the mid, the lemon calms down, the fizziness calms down, and that is when the tonka bean starts coming through, giving this fragrance an almondy touch. The lab denim and the benzoin add this warmth, add this sweetness. This fragrance does turn a bit syrupy sweet, like it opens up sweet. And then once it starts drying down, like I say, that fizziness sort of goes away. You still get the cola vibe. This fragrance kind of reminds me of the drink Di Serrano. It's a liqueur and a, like, a boozy liqueur. And once this gets into the mid, that is when it sort of reminds me of that drink Di Serrano. But you still get that cherryish vibe. But like I say, it does turn a bit syrupy sweet and it it, it gets this warmth to it. Some people, oh, I've heard some people say that this leans a little bit more on the feminine side. To me, when I first got it, I thought it was more masculine. But the more I've worn it, the longer I've owned it, the more notes that jump out to me, I think it's straight up unisex. The patchouli in here sort of adds this ever so slight woodsy touch. And then the orange flowers, I don't get, but maybe they're just throwing a little bit of freshness into the fragrance so it doesn't become too much sweet, like sickly sweet, but you have to enjoy sweet fragrances to appreciate this scent. But yeah, Tuesday I wore Tonka Cola from Mansara, great fragrance, good longevity, good projection, solid, solid fragrance. Wednesday I wore this fragrance just because I love the way it smells. I didn't even care what the weather was saying I went with Costume National 21. If you like creamy, lactonic fragrances, get your paws on this. Every time I put this in a review, I'll rave about it. And for a good reason. It's because it smells so good. Let me just spray it. There's a lot of notes to this fragrance, but there's not so much going on. The atomizers could be better. And the bottle, I mean, it's not the most appealing looking bottle, is it? But the juice, and I know some people don't care about the bottle. The juice is where this one shines. Right, let me read you the notes. You've got milk, saffron, orange blossom, cashmere wood, bergamot, cumin, royal jelly, moss, pepper, clary sage, patchouli, musk, cedar, oud, tonka bean, Vanilla, vetiver, sandalwood, and frankincense. That is a big note breakdown. But to me, I'm going to tell you simple. This fragrance opens up fresh, vanillic, soft, spicy. And then after a couple of minutes, you've got the sandalwood mixing in with the milk and the vanilla. So it just goes creamy, sweet. Once this starts drying down, the frankincense does come through and this gets an ever so slight faint touch of incense. Like nothing churchy, nothing heavy. This isn't a heavy fragrance, but it's not light. It's got a bit of an airy nature to it, to be honest with you. Like all the notes you'd think, hang on a minute, that you've got the royal jelly, the patchouli, the musk, the cedar. This has some heavy notes in it, but it does have an airy sort of nature to it. This is gorgeous. It goes a little bit balsamic. You always get the vanilla. You get the creamy sandalwood always. This fragrance stays lactonic, but it don't. nothing becomes too much. Like, nothing really jumps out at you too much. That is why I say that there's a lot of notes to this, but there's not that much going on. They all might play a part, all the notes, but I cannot pick out half the notes. Like, you definitely get the milk, you get the sandalwood, you get the vanilla, you get the soft spice. It does have a slight woodsy undertone. You do get the frankincense in the dry down. This is just a cosy, cuddly, great date night fragrance. And I just picked it up because I looked at it Wednesday and I thought, 
I'm going to be wearing you today. I didn't care if it was 30 or 40 degrees outside. I was wearing this bad boy and that is what I went with. And it is Costume National 21. If you haven't tried this yet, just try and get yourself a sample. And I'm telling you, if you like creamy electronic fragrances, you're going to love this. Thursday, I wanted Vetiver. And I was looking at my Vetiver fragrances and I thought to myself, I'm going to be wearing you. And this is one of my most favourite Vetiver fragrances in my collection. It is Vetiver Java from the house of Paris Monte Carlo. What a gem this is. If you enjoy Vetiver full on and you haven't tried this, get your little paws on it and you will be so happy. Let me just spray this. Let, let me just show you the bottle quick. I love the way these bottles look. Simplistic, but with the pattern on them. And then look, you've got the pattern on the cap. I think they look stunning on a shelf. Not I think, I know they look stunning on a shelf. 100ml bottle, other perfume concentration. Atomizer, wide distribution. Gives out a nice bit of juice. Right, you've got Calabrian bergamot, grapefruit, timar pepper, java vetiver, geranium absolute, amber and musk. When this opens up, it opens fresh, spicy. You get the vetiver straight away. The grapefruit is there and it's got a little bit of bite to it, but it's only there for a couple of minutes. And then the grapefruit takes a back seat. The bergamot, I believe, just adds a fresh quality to the fragrance. And then it is full on vetiver. Smoky, pungent, earthy. And when I say smoky, like after about five minutes, it's like dry leaves burning. Like it's proper, full on smoky. And I just love the way this comes across. Once you get sort of into the mid, I get nut, nutty facets. And I know this is going to sound weird, but sometimes this fragrance to my nose comes across ever so slightly boozy. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it's got so much vetiver in it that it's coming across a little bit boozy. But I love this fragrance. Cold weather fragrance. But I, I don't care the weather. If I want to wear a fragrance, I don't care how hot it is outside or how cold it is. I just wear what I want to wear. Yeah, you can have um, seasonal fragrances. There's nothing wrong with that. If your rotation is, if it's a hot week and you've got all fresh fragrances, there's nothing wrong with that. But me personally, I just look at my collection and I think I want to wear you today or I feel like I want to wear this note today and I just rock it. And Thursday, I went with this bad boy. Six to eight hours longevity. This is a masculine scent as well. And I'm going to say it again. If you enjoy vetiver, try this because you get all different facets of vetiver. Like I say, pungent, earthy, smoky, a little bit nutty, boozy. It's seriously, I, I just don't know where it's coming from. Love this fragrance. Yeah, so that's vetiver java from the house of Paris Monte Carlo. Stunning fragrance. It really is. Take this with a pinch of salt because I've only worn it once or I wore it all day Friday. And it is If by RK from the house of Frapping. Look how stunning that bottle looks. And the juice inside. Not only does the bottle look good, the juice smells. I love it. It was love at first sniff. Love, it was love at first sniff. Wooden cap, the name of the house on top. This is going on skin because it is going to be my scent of the day today. Pressurised atomizer. Right, you've got black pepper, Italian bergamot, white ginger, cashmere wood, cinnamon leaf, cocoa, fig, caramel, guyac wood, patchouli, mysore sandalwood, tonka and vanilla. This opens up with a fresh blast, soft, spicy, semi-sweet, and that ginger gives this fragrance a little bit of zing up top. But after about five to eight minutes, I wasn't quite timing it, but in a short time, that ginger sort of just fizzled out. You know, it was there, and like I say, probably for about five minutes, then it started fizzling out. 
and then the fragrance starts turning creamy, vanillic. I get this ever so slight coconutty vibe in the back. And I don't know if that's the fig mixing in with the sandalwood, but I was detecting coconut and I can smell coconut now and I don't, there's no coconut listed. I'll tell you what I don't pick up on is the cocoa, the chocolate. I don't get no chocolate nuance in this whatsoever. And that upset me because at the minute I'm addicted to chocolate. So I'm gutted about that. All jokes aside, this is a fantastic smelling fragrance. It's sweet, but it never pushes the line of going too much. I would say if you get a semi-sweet fragrance, this is just a little bit over that. Everything is smooth, well blended, and it's got this cozy, cuddly, sexy edge to it. Definitely, this would be great on a date night. There is no doubt about it. On a cooler evening, and you're going out with your other half, and you're going to a nice restaurant, and you're both a little bit dressed up, because this is a unisex fragrance. You're both a bit dressed up, and you're wearing this fragrance. You're going to look the business, and you are going to smell the part. It's just got this pleasing nature to it. Nothing off-putting, nothing challenging, delicious. And that is If by RK. Love this fragrance. Love at first sniff. It really was. Saturday, the weather started perking up a bit and I thought, thank God for that. And I needed something that was lively. So I went with Wapo from the house of Aaron Terence Hughes. This thing smells great. Excuse me. If you're looking for a lively, vibrant, sparkling, citric fragrance, try this. This is a very, very nice, pleasing scent. Right, you've got bergamot, lemon, sweet orange, mandarin, Granny Smith apple, tonka, radiant woods, amber, ambroxin, sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, ambergris, white musk. This bops you in the nose with citrus. When it's, this just opens up loud, bright, fresh, it's very clean and vibrant. After a couple of minutes, that Granny Smith apple starts making its way in. The citrus is still there. So now it's citrus, a little bit fruity, semi-sweet. At this stage, it does go a little bit musky. Right, the woods in this are very clean. You've got the ambroxin and the ambergris, which I think push some freshness into the fragrance and make it pop. And the radiant woods and the vetiver, like I say, they're clean. So it does have a little bit of a woodsy undertone. The only thing with the vetiver on my skin in this, on the late dry down, it goes ever so slightly earthy. And I mean faintly, apart from that, this fragrance is clean through and through. The tonka bean, I think, just adds a little bit more to the sweet side of things. This is a stunning smelling fragrance. Very versatile. You can wear this to work. You can wear this in a white t-shirt. A couple of sprays of this, you can rock to the gym. This can be a signature scent, plus it's an all year round fragrance. You can wear this on cooler days, you can wear it on hotter days. Great smelling fragrance. If you like citrus, get your paws on Guapo from the House of Aaron Terrence Shoes. And that is what I rocked Saturday and it was great for the situation. It really was. We're on to Sunday. It was hit and miss with the weather. Like it was a little bit sunny, it was a little bit shady. So I thought I'm going to wear something with a little bit of heft to it. And I went with Billy Eilish, Eilish, or fucking Billy Eilish, Eilish number two. Potato, potato. This to me is full on woods and papyrus. Like from the look of the bowl, that you would think that this is a unisex, or not unisex, but you would think that this is a feminine fragrance. It isn't. To me, this is full on woods and papyrus. Let me spray it. Right, you've got bergamot, apple blossom, black pepper, papyrus, poppy, padisanto, ebony wood, and vanilla. You do get a fresh blast up top from the bergamot. That bergamot kind of stays with the fragrance up top, just adding this freshness to this heavy dose of woods and papyrus. The papyrus adds this smoky quality, 
plus I do get a very faint suede leathery touch just underneath way in the back of the fragrance that like I can just pick it up and that has got to be coming from the papyrus the apple blossom does add a very small subtle fruity touch and at first I didn't pick it up so it's not very pronounced it is there but you have to look for it and I think the apple blossom with the bergamot is what's stopping this fragrance becoming uh, too much because once this fragrance starts drying down the papyrus amps up a little bit more the ebony wood kicks in which sort of makes it gives this fragrance a little bit of a dark edge the vanilla just adds a very slight touch of sweetness and that is the fragrance it is very woodsy and heavy on the papyrus so you have to enjoy smoky woodsy slightly sweet fragrances to enjoy this fragrance to me this leans more on the masculine side it really does the way it opens up strong it really this fragrance reminds me of is it uh, is it ebony fume from or ebony fume from tom ford you know that smoky woodsy quality that that, that has that is what this fragrance reminds me of ever so slightly that papyrus really kicks in but sunday i do enjoy this fragrance so sunday i rock this and i think it smells great but like i say it does have a dark side to it right people that is my weekly rotation some great fragrances on the list i'll quickly this is a 50ml bottle, but you can pick this fragrance up for about £35. And the longevity on this, I get five to seven hours. Sometimes it hits in the middle at six, and some days it might lean a little bit under or lean a little bit over. But it is a solid fragrance. Anyway, that is my weekly rotation. Some great ones on the list. I'm going to say it again. Drop a comment down below on which ones you have tried. Which ones do you own out of these fragrances? Have you tried Vetiver Java? If you haven't, people, and you like, if you, this is for Vetiver lovers. If you enjoy Vetiver, trust me, try it. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.